Welcome to Time Tunnel Radio. And here's the cinnamon bell. Last time, Judy and Jimmy and the Cinnamon Bear met Professor Whiz, the educated owl, who told them he'd seen the crazy quilt dragon go into the wintergreen witch's house, and what's more, he had the silver star with him. But when they entered the house, there wasn't a sign of crazy quilt. At one end of the room was a huge picture of a forest. At least they thought it was a picture until they discovered it was a real forest. So in they went and met Freddy Cat, who was frightened to death of a giant. And right now, the giant is coming closer and closer. Gee, we're in for it, all right. Come on, let's hurry. Do you think the giant can see us? I'm not sure. He's awful big. Maybe if we keep in the underbrush, he won't. Meow. I'm so scared. Meow. I'm so unlucky. Everything happens to me. We're all scared, little Freddy Cat. But we're going to try to escape the giant just the same. We'll never be able to go faster than he does. He's coming closer and closer. Oh, dear, what do we do? Oh, don't step on us, Mr. Giant, please. Look out. Of course I won't step on you. Where are you? We're right here under this big tree. You mean that little bush by my knee? <laughs> here, let me see. Here, you're way down, aren't you? Yes, but please be careful. Don't hurt us. We haven't done anything to you. I, I wouldn't think of hurting anybody. I'm Fee Fo, the gentle giant. I am. Ooh, that's a big relief to us, I can tell you. Just a minute till I sit down. Then I'll be closer to you. Where are you now? Here we are. My goodness, but you're just awful big. He sure is all right. Well, he looks as high as the city hall, doesn't he, Judy? Uh, you don't know how glad I am to see someone who looks like me, even if you aren't the same size. I haven't seen any people but the Wintergreen Witch for ever so long. Would you be afraid if I would pick you up and look at you a little closer? My eyes are a bit weak, you know. Well, I don't mind. Gee, it'd be lots of fun. I think it would be, too. How about you, Cinnamon Bear? It's all right with me. But be real careful about the way you pick me up, won't you? My extra special stuffing is awfully sensitive to high altitude. Let me hang on to your thumb. Meow. Oh, my goodness. I forgot about Brady Cat. A cat? Well, let me see it. I'm very fond of cats. Brady Cat's nothing but a little kitten. Well, that's all right. I like them that way. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm awful scared of you. Are you sure you won't hurt me? Not for the world. Here, look. I'll put you in my coat pocket and you can look out of the buttonhole. All right. If you'll be very careful. There. Pretty cat's up. Now, how about the rest of you? Would you like to sit up on my shoulder? You bet. Come on, Judy. something. Hey, Cinnamon Bear. Hello. I'm coming next. There. We're all up. Are you all quite comfortable? Oh, yes. Thank you, Fifo. Well, that's fine. Now, suppose you tell me who you are and what you're doing in the Winter Green Witch's Magic Forest. Well, I'm Jimmy Barton, and this is my twin sister, Judy, and he's Patio Cinnamon the Cinnamon Bear. And we've come an awful long way to try to get back our silver star that was stolen by the crazy quilt dragon. Silver star? Yes. It belongs on top of our Christmas tree. And Christmas won't be Christmas without it. Have you seen the crazy quilt dragon by any chance, Fifo? Well, no, I haven't. But that's not strange. Lots of things go on around my feet that I can't see. You know, maybe I'm wrong, but... 
I think I see a cinnamon bun on a tree over there. Well, that's the cinnamon bun tree in the goody goody grove. Oh, there's all kinds of good things to eat there. Chocolate eclair brushes, cream puff vines, and ice cream cone trees. Oh, just lots of things. Gee, I just remember that I'm awful hungry. How about you, Judy? Mm, me too, Jimmy. I would just love something to eat. Well, no sooner said than done. It's just a couple of steps over there. Here, hold tight while I get up. Uh, here we are, and here we go. Here we are. I'd better put you on the ground again. You might fall off if I bent down to pick anything for you. Oh, wee! Oh, wee! Oh, wee! Oh, wee! Oh, wee! Oh, wee! Well, I didn't mean to overlook you, little Frady Cat. Yeah, there's a milkweed tree that has very delicious milk. I'll pick a pot of that for you. Oh, thank you, Fifo. You're awfully good to me. And I was so scared when I first saw you. Well, you don't have to be scared of me anymore. In fact, if you'd keep me company, I'd be very grateful. You know, I get very lonesome sometimes. I'd like to stay with you. You wouldn't let anything hurt me, would you? I should say not. How's the milk? Very nice. Just the way I like oh, it. Oh, that's fine. How about the rest of you? Oh, oh it's well. Wow. It's just wonderful. Gee, this is the first time I ever got to eat all the cream puffs I wanted. Mother wouldn't let me have but one at home. She says they're too rich. Well, eat just as many as you want. When nothing in the goody-goody grove will make you sick. Mmm, my goodness, Jimmy. You just ought to taste these chocolate eclairs. Mmm, they're so good. Yeah, yeah. You can't beat these cinnamon buns and, and this honey. Notice how, how sweet it makes my voice sound. What? That was swell. I guess I won't want any more cream puffs for a long time. Say, how'd you ever happen to be in the magic forest before? Well, I didn't used to be here at all. I used to live out on the island of Bowlby like everybody else. One day I was taking a nap on the beach, and the wintergreen witch made me real small and put me through the picture frame in her house, and then made me big again before I woke up. Now I can't get out because I'm too large. Isn't there any way for you to get out? The only way would be for the wintergreen witch to let me out, and she won't do it. Say, I don't want to rush you to... But remember, we're a long way from finding Crazy Quill in the Silver Star. I guess the best thing would be to look for him ourselves, since Fifo hasn't seen him. Yeah, he couldn't help us anyway, because in one step, he'd miss a million Crazy Quill dragons. Thank you ever so much, Fifo, for the elegant lunch and for helping us. I should say so. Hmm, those cream puffs just fixed me up swell. I don't know what I would have done without my cinnamon buns. I wouldn't have been able to be ferocious at all. Now, before you go, there's something I want to give you. It's a whistle. Now, I can't use it because it's too small for me. I just wear it on my watch chain for a charm. Here, wait a minute till I wet my finger. I can't pick it off very good unless I do. There. Now, you just blow on it three times if you want me for anything... And I'll hear it, and I'll come a-running. Like this? Is it magic? Yes. I used to dabble a bit in it before the witch put me in the magic forest. Well, you blow it if you need me, and I'll come in a jiffy. Well, thank you ever so much, Fifo. You bet. Gee, you've been swell to us. You've certainly changed our opinions of giants. If I've done that, I am very happy. All right, come on, Frady Cat. Back in my pocket you go. And goodbye to all of you. Remember, I'm here to help you if you want me. Goodbye, Fifo. Pretty nice of him to be so polite and helpful, wasn't it? It surely was. But then... I really wasn't afraid of him when I first saw him. <laughs> Why, you won't 
storyteller. You were, too. Certainly you were. You were scared to death, and you know it. Well, if you won't believe me, I won't talk about it anymore. Which way shall we go? It's awful hard to know which way. We haven't any idea where the crazy quill dragon might have gone. Well, he didn't know this forest any better than we did. So if we just follow our noses, we'll probably come as close to him as finding him as any other way we can do. Well, that's silly. Just like some people say, follow your nose. Well, not in Mayland, it isn't. Now, if you want to find somebody real bad, that's just what you do. Follow your nose, and eventually you find him. Is that some more magic? Well, I don't know if it's magic, but it generally works. All right. I guess we'll try it. Say, which way are our noses pointed? That's silly, too. They're pointed straight ahead of us. Well, then, that's the way to go. Right through this uh, underbrush and everything? Yes, we get through it as much as we can. All right. But I hope we don't get all scratched up. Want to take my hand, Judy? No, Jimmy. It's easier for me to go by myself because... Oh! What's happened? Well, it's it's all, all dark. Dark nothing? It's pitch black. I can't see you, Jimmy. Or you, Cinnamon Bear. I can't see anything. Grab hold of my hand, Judy. And you take this one, Cinnamon. Let's just stand right here together until it gets light again. What do you suppose ever made it get dark so quick? Maybe it just decided to get nighttime in a hurry. No, Judy. I think it's magic. The wintergreen witch probably shut off the lights. Maybe the electric light company turned them off because she didn't pay her bill. Well, whatever it is, I don't like it one little bit. It's dark and scary and... Oh! What's the matter, Judy? What is it? Look! Look! Over there! Heavenly days! Two yellow lights like eyes, a flashing in the dark. As Jimmy often says, gee willikers, what's going to happen next? I'd like nothing better than to know right at this very minute, but like you, I'm going to have to be patient and wait until next time. (laughs) 